What banks will mostly look for is if you are listed negatively. And the negative listing is the one under a non-performing loan. The minute they see you are listed negatively, then your loan application stops. If the four of you came with the same exact salary, you may not all get the same amount of money. Why? Because of one, your spending habits. Uh, also, what else do you have? What other obligations do you have outside? Once you get paid, some of us have other obligations. I'm already investing some money with Old Mutual, for instance, which then means I have a, a, a certain amount I must remit to Old Mutual every month, which then means that money is now not available towards a loan repayment. Uh, there is someone else who has a credit card already, which then means there is a certain amount of money they have to send to the credit card company, which also reduces their disposable income. When we come to your profile, you should be able to see all the borrowings that you have undertaken in this market and then see performance, which means that uh, that performance then enables us to calculate your risk profile in terms of uh, accessing credit. Also, not having no credit is also not good for you. So someone straight from school or who is on their first job and they've never borrowed, they will not necessarily have a bad score, but they will not have the best score because we have no history on you. We don't know anything about you. Your clean slate, we are yet to figure you out. Your credit report or your information on your credit bureau is very much like your CV. It's just that this CV is for you to be able to access credit. Remember, the most important thing when you're checking, when you're giving a loan, you have to verify that this person has ability to pay this loan for the period you've given them for. So banks will lend to you or give you a rate that reflects your risk profile. So somebody with a score of 600 will not get credit at the same rate with somebody with a score of 800. Banks now are required to report both the good loans and the bad loans. In the report, there will be performing loans. Performing loans are all the loans you've taken and you have not missed a payment. Then there is loans now that were non-performing but have been closed. For instance, I took a loan. I paid nicely for six months. Then I ran into trouble. I wasn't able to pay, so I was listed. Listing now is being reported as a defaulter. When do you, by the way, get reported to a credit reference bureau for not paying? Is if you've not paid your loan for 90 days. In terms of what defined as a default in banking is 90 days. If you run through those missed payments for 90 days, if it's monthly, it means you have missed three installments, then now you go into default. You've gone into default. And that your record now changes from being in the performing list to the default list. The regulations are very clear. So if there was any default, that default information is kept there for five years from the date you completed paying it stating that at one point you had taken a facility and that facility went into default.